Okay, so it is uh, ten, nine days since the fire, and uh, a lot has happened in those nine days. It's amazing to me. God has blessed so much, uh, providing people, place to practice, uh, equipment. Um, and I'm at the site of the uh, old building, which I'm now calling the seed, because a, a fruit doesn't grow unless a seed falls to the ground and, and dies, and this building has died. I'll walk around with you in just a minute. But here's a sign of where we're going to be. Backwards, of course, because of the uh, way the camera works today. But we're going to be at Gilead Healing Center opening tomorrow for the first time. So there's that. I just hung the banners announcing that. But I want to give you a quick walk around the outside of the building. Um, so you see from my point of view what's happened here. Uh, so I'm in the parking lot. I'm going to turn around so you can see the building. Uh, you can see the burned out roof and boarded up boards. And our sign proudly proclaiming, we will be back. It was an interesting story when I talked to the fire inspector. He said... Did you write on that building? I thought I was in trouble for, for tagging the building or something, but I said, yeah, I did. He said, well, I just want to make sure it wasn't a threat. We will be back to burn you out again. So it's kind of a humorous, a little bit frustrating thing for him, I'm sure. Uh, but there's the uh, entryway burned out through the top. Uh, there's our windows, and uh, you can't see inside. Once we get back inside, I'll show you what that looked like. Here's looking down the sidewalk along the side of the building. You can see where... The eaves were ripped down as the firefighters tried to put out the, the fire. The whole roof caved in into the inside of the building. Um, so inside is like two feet of burned, wet rubble. And it just it smells like a burned house smells. Um, we were able to get in a couple days ago and find some papers that were really important to us. Uh, so that was a blessing. The fire inspector went through with us so he could keep an eye on what we were taking. Uh, but here's more of the rubble. Crazy stuff. Hey, Titus, how you doing? Good to see you this morning. Hope you have a great day. Uh, here's looking across the back of the building. This corner inside there is my personal office, and that seems to be the work. Heating and air conditioning units. Um, the fire burned up the back and across the top, because that's where all the wood was. Everything in the first floor is metal. Um, it's even worse than our side, so it's a mess. It is a mess. Uh, Captain Kirby survived on this side. Ours did not in the back there. And there's looking across the front again. So that's a quick tour of what's left of the office, which we now call the seed. And uh, indeed, we're working on getting open. We'll be opened uh, tomorrow. Sorry, we paused there because of uh, internet connections. For some reason, our Wi-Fi isn't working here. <laughs> um, but uh, that's the tour. Uh, next time I give you a live one, we'll go inside. So I'm not sure when that'll be. We will... Uh, give you an idea of what it's like inside. It's it's pretty interesting to see how the fire went. Pretty sad, too, because there's a lot of stuff gone. And we don't know what yet the insurance company is going to condemn what we'll be able to reuse. So anyway, blessings on you all. We'll see you at the uh, temporary office at 306 South Kreitz at Gilead Hilling Center. Uh, call us. Our regular number is working. 321-3030. Blessings on you. Be well. Stay well. See you soon.